right, so now we're adding in our security. Okay, so now I want to show you adding in our security and how we're going to go about doing that. So uh, when it comes down to it, I've already added some features up here for admin and logging in. Now we don't have any operators, so I wanted to make sure that I at least save time in what we were doing. So what I did is I added some features up here. This is just a simple layover screen, a simple layover button after button. So if one button's there, then the other one is not visible. So if you can see the way this works, we'll actually go in and have visibility. So the, uh, the, if the actual user is the operator, then we're gonna go ahead and delay that. We're gonna you know, disable that and you can't see it. Now in the efforts of this, I'll show you this real quick. Just to show you, we've done this, we've built these before, so I don't wanna actually waste your time doing this. So we're saying if the user has the admin code of B, then we're gonna say they're an advanced user. If the operator has the, you know, obviously else, if they don't have uh, B, if they don't have the user code, the current user code of B, then they're gonna be an operator, right? So we're just gonna basically change the wording right there. If you can currently see the way that it says right now, it, it says I am an advanced user, although I am not because I don't have any users inside of my system yet. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but again, I wanted to go ahead and make this little layover button because we've made them before. There's no use in you, you know, actually seeing me make graphics, right? This is about users and this is about being, you know, having factory talk security. So we're gonna go to the bottom. We're gonna go down to users. So I'm gonna come down here under system. I'm gonna go to users. I'm gonna add another user, a factory talk user. First, I'm gonna call this one operator. I'm gonna set the password to never expire. Okay, the password in here is going to be operator. I'm just gonna keep it that simple. Now again, if your your plant or admin or your you know facility has something that is very critical, you don't want it as simple as that. You don't want to set these. I'm gonna have another one here that call, is called admin. Um, and I'm gonna set all these to never expire. But again, if your plant or security is more advanced and needs something very advanced, you don't want to check this box that says password never expires. You want to have it expire and have them reset it, and, you know, based upon your protocol or whatever your plant or facility is desired, right? So whatever your security desire level is. In this atmosphere, it's very, it's just a training atmosphere. It's just something we're doing. I'm going to set it to never expire. I'm going to set the password in here. I'm just going to put it as add, honestly, I'm just going to, I'll tell you it's admin one and I spell out the word one. It's not a big complicated thing, right? You're not going to hack this computer and do this. So I'm, I've added the admin, I've added the operator also too. So I want to come over here and go into my runtime security. This is where it gets a little confusing for people because they have to still, just because you have added a user, you still need to add security accounts to your application. Okay, so this is the where you're doing the application level. We're gonna go ahead and add a new, because currently all we have is all users. Okay, so now we're gonna add a new one. They're gonna go show users only. We're gonna add in the operator. And then the operator, we're gonna change the factory talk security codes that the operator has. We're not gonna allow them to have A, B, or C, okay? And then we're going to hit okay. Actually, let's go ahead and add another one and let's add me in there or let's add the admin in there. So we'll add the admin. The admin will have all security rights, okay? Now I wanna show and highlight one thing. Um, when it comes to Factory Talk 10 and above, you have to click this deny button if somebody does not have the code. This forces the hand to say that they do not have that actual code, right? They, they will not have that factory talk security code. Now, if this user or if a said uh, users are added to, let's say a sophisticated system where you have a bunch of people in the, uh, in the operator you know, path, right? So you have like 10 users in the operators and then you move an operator to a different, uh, or say to an admin, then you would need to come in and remove that person because when you check deny, it's those privileges are supersede all other privileges. 
Okay, so checking this button called deny in factory talk 10 or above will force anything that has the word operator or in that user group, if you're using user groups, then it will force that person to be, you know, their lowest protocol of security. So just keep that in mind. Now in ours is very, very, very simple. What we're doing is very simple. And so we're going to go ahead and click that and it's going to prompt you to say, hey, you click deny. So that's all that, the, all that message was. Now we have our users in here. We have admin, we have operator and all users. Okay. So we have that. You want to, when you close this out, you want to hit save because you do want to save this document. If you do not save, it will not actually save the, you know, the, the security rights and all the stuff you just did. Adding the new operators, adding the admin and adding the security. So we do want to click save. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Now, one thing I want to do is highlight another key focus here. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the application first, right? So let's go ahead and test. I've added the the admin in here. Well, actually, let's come in here and show you. So in the security, we don't we haven't added our security for here yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's come over here to our our privileges and let's come over here to our recipe screen, right? Remember, this is our recipe screen. This is our recipe screen that we did. Okay. So now we're going to come over here and add the security to here to visibility. We're going to go to expression. We're going to go to functions. Okay. Then we're going to go to security and then user code has the letter. Okay. So that's very simple. And then we're going to click the letter A and we're keeping this this simple for simplicity's sake for you to understand that obviously if a person is admin, they have a as their actual you know letter code we're going to check the syntax and we're going to apply so now I'm going to sit hit save come over here and we pop this button up let's just pop the button up again oh i'm currently signed in so let's actually go in and sign in and change this the problem here is i have I already cranked the client up before i added the privileges so I need to be able to sign in, sign out, and do all kind of stuff. So we're signing in. Okay, so we currently have that. Now we're going to sign out. This will sign in the operator. So as you see, we do not have operator, or we, the operator does not have privileges to edit the screen. So editing the, the screen, right? So now if I come over here to sign in, if I sign in right here, if I go to admin, and then I type in the password, which is admin1. Then what's gonna happen is it's gonna sign in the application. It's gonna give me rights to edit the actual recipe. So again, this is something you don't want the, like say for instance, on any kind of uh, security you're doing. You don't want the operator to be able to change certain stuff like the, the, the quantity of your recipe or maybe be it be something else you don't want them to start a pump or you don't want to do you know whatever the case may be so now if i sign out if i hit sign out it's going to sign out the of the advanced user and sign back in the operator okay so now you see that and you see the way it works now how did i do that i want to show you because this is where a lot of people are going to get lost and uh, uh, not lost i would say but have questions let's just uh, say that so what I did to save face is I made a a macro called operator and I lo also I'm logging in the operator so what I first off and start the client the client start um, that we've the macro that we built when we first built the application I added this feature right here which is logging in the operator but keep in mind this note right here when you hit the exclamation mark it's going to just highlight what this feature is doing. So I'm logging in my operator by the name and then I'm giving the password, okay? Very simple. This has to be the, the name of the person or the whatever the, the user is and this has to be the password. Really, really, really simple. Now on the same face to that, I made another macro that is just operator login. Now, why did I do that? And I'll show you. So in this top header, this layover screen that we built, there's a log out button. 
in this log out button, I have an action that points to, and I'll show you this. I'm going to delete this. And as soon as you make a macro in here, what you can do is you can go over here to all commands and you can select that macro to run. So this right here, this is why I called it login operator. Login operator. The description is user defined macro. Okay, then I click yes right here. This is going to add that in there. And then I'm just I'm merely breaking that out to show you. So I've separated this out to show you that. Right, so this is the layover button. And again, that layover button only shows when somebody is signed in. Right, so the visibility is when the operator, right? So this is this actually shows that, right? When when the user code when the username is operator, it is invisible and the color as well. Right? So that would change color as well. So we're gonna change this and put this right back to where it was and save this screen. Now in the same face to what we're doing, to show you that, I'm gonna control alt Q. Then I want to show you this when the start client happens. I want you to watch the bottom of the screen. It will run start HMI. It will come in and do the default footer. It will pause. It will do the header. It will pause. It will do the main screen. Then it will sign in the operator. So I want you to see this when the HMI actually pop populates. So from the very beginning, I'm going to show you how the security works. Okay, I'm going to show you how all this transpires, how you would log somebody in automatically, how you would log them out automatically. All this is done via a macro. Very simple. There's a ton of ways you can do this, but in this atmosphere, what you're doing is you're going to do it. We're in the training atmosphere. What we're doing very simply is controlling it through macros. Very efficient, very simple. Everybody can track that. And we're not going to multiple things using VBA code. We're not using multiple users, user groups. We're keeping it very simple. We're adding users. We're going to our security. And we're calling macros. We've done all this in the training so far. And I want, to show, I want you to show the bottom of the screen right now. <coughs> Excuse me. The bottom of the screen right now does show all of these functions working. Now it's signing in the operator. Okay. So I've signed in the operator because I don't want when this thing powers down and powers back up when it starts up I don't I want to sign in the operator and not give somebody admin privileges. So on the very take of that now I can come over here and sign in if I want to sorry this, make sure you put your username and then this would be the password. So the password's admin1. So I'm going to sign in the, the actual admin now, right? So I'm signing in the admin. Now I have privileges to do more stuff. So now I can edit my recipe. So again, the passwords can be like controlling animation and stuff like that can be done very simply, uh, many different ways. But again, having the ability to sign in, sign out and control the things and control different things in your atmosphere really depends on how you want to implement this. So security is very, very, very powerful. We're doing in a very simple controlled atmosphere. Okay, so very simply, when you're using other stuff, really complex stuff, please understand we're doing this very simple. Now, when I press this, this log out button, it's going to then run that macro. It's gonna log out the opera or log out, it's gonna log in the operator. Very simple right so you see it didn't even look like it changed anything but that's what a macro does all we're doing is pressing a button starting a macro running a macro and then it does the task that the, is inside the macro very simple very efficient very effective so now that you know and you've seen how to do that this was a little bit longer video but you understand now why i built up to this state because when it comes to making security you can be really, really complex, or you can be very simple. And even when you're very simple to somebody who has not learned how to do factory talk, you know, security yet, it can be complex. But think about it as your Windows computer. Think about when you sign into your computer, or if you set certain things up in your computer, you know, if somebody else signs in, you don't want them signing into certain 
you know, get your, your folders, your features, your things, maybe even your software, right? So there's security things that are built in there as well. So think about this as a privilege that you're giving to allow somebody to control something. And again, your facility you're working in or the project that you're making or where what industry you're in will dictate how, how, how advanced your security needs to be. This is very simple, this is very controlled, but it does show you how to do this under your training environment, how to build and how to understand, how, you know, fact, basic factory talk communication as far as your, your security. So with all this being said and with everything we just talked, if you need to go back and watch this video again, please do so because security is highly, highly important. And the more you grasp this and more you practice this yourself, the better you'll get. So again, when it comes down to it, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got a lot of a lot from it. If you need to watch it again, please watch the video again. I know for me, it took a little while to pick up security and I want to make sure I pass it on as simple as I possibly can and as easy as I possibly can. You see it working. You see it working in our HMI environment. And I just want to show you how to do that. So with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.